let's try to understand this problem related, related to dual nature of matter. The mass of an electron, question is saying the mass of an electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. If its kinetic energy is 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 25 joules, very small amount, the energy is very small, calculate its wavelength. So you are given the mass, although the mass of an electron is constant, 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg, the kinetic energy is this much, 10 to the power minus 25 joules. You are required to calculate the wavelength. So what, what is required here is you, you need to know the De Broglie's idea that that, that matter all, also has some has wave-like behavior. So when a matter moves, when there's a, when matter moves, when matter of some mass with, moves with some velocity, it will emit some there will be some waves associated with it. So the relation between the wavelength of, of the matter where its momentum is, wavelength is equal to h by p where h is the Planck's constant and p is the momentum of the of the moving body. So suppose you, you will have a wavelength only when you are moving. A car has, will, have, will emit a wavelength. There will be some wave emitted by the car and the wavelength of it can be measured only when the car moves. So according to de Broglie, Louis de Broglie, the, the French physicist, the wavelength associated with moving body, whether it's a big car or earth or small subatomic particle uh, electrons is given by wavelength is equal to Planck's constant by, by, its, mo by its momentum. So the wavelength and the, and the momentum are inversely proportional. If the, if, the, if the momentum is very big, the wavelength will be very small. And the, if the momentum is, uh, is, is less, then the wavelength will be more. The Planck's constant is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules second. I'm, I'm keeping, I'm repeating the, the numerical value of the con, numerical value of the Planck's constant and all, so that it becomes familiar to you. What about momentum? What do you mean by momentum in a moving body? It's the product of the mass and the velocity. The mass is given 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg because it is an electron. And what about velocity? You don't know the velocity. Okay, in order to know the velocity, the question has given you the kinetic energy 3 into 10 to the power minus 25 joules, 3.0 means there, there will be two significant figures. So there are two, there are two. So to find whatever, whatever result you will get, it should at, at least have two significant figures. That's the rule of significant figures that we follow. So how will you calculate the, uh, the, uh, the, the velocity from the given kinetic energy? The kinetic energy is given to be this much, 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 25 joules. And what is kinetic energy? It is half m mass into velocity square. So velocity will be 2 will go this side to become multiplication and the mass divided by mass and root over of it. So this is how you do it and you get around 0 0.8 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second. The velocity of the of the electron. If it is a kinetic, if it is, it is having, uh, if an electron is having kinetic energy of 3 into 10 to the power minus 25 joules, its, uh, it's velocity will be around 3, 10 to the power 3, it's around 1000, or 1000, 1000 meter per second. So place, uh, so play, uh, place the value, replace the value. Um, the value of V will be this much. And the final answer turns out to be around 0.833 or 833 uh, micrometer or 833 nanometer. So this will be the wavelength of the electron. Although it's very small, 833 nanometer. But there are there there are some wavelength associated with the electron which is moving with the kinetic with the, with the kinetic energy of three into ten to the power minus twenty five joules, possessing this much energy, and its velocity will be this. Replacing the velocity, we'll get 
the wavelength is 833 nano 